Alright, this is going to be my take on Ubuntu 11.10 or Neric Octolite. And let's let's begin by defining what Unity is, okay? Because some people are confused what Unity really fucking is. To me, Unity is this dock on the side here, this dash that they have, and um, what is it they have here? The global menu with um, their button fused to it if you go full screen and all that. Alright, so that that thing. And the last thing I think is this scroll bar that they have. So those four things is what I think Unity is. They do have some other stuff in the menus, but that's been there a long time ago. Uh, so let's begin with the dock itself. There's been a lot of people ask me, can you move this dock to like a different corner, like the bottom or the side or whatever. Um, you can't, and their official statement is, they said, no, because you're gonna fuck up their design, so you, 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 they won't ever do that. Okay. Uh, the dock. Do I like the dock? Not really. Uh, it's kind of annoying too. Let me show you why I believe is annoying. Let's say you want to open something. Obviously, you click on the the icon and it opens. Now, usually, if you ever use other docks, you click on it to minimize it, right? You can't click on it to minimize it, uh, which is really stupid. And the reason why they did that is because they want to implement this feature in here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's say you have two of the same thing. Let's say two applications here. And now if you click it again, it'll do the compass scale feature just for those applications. Right? Um, and that's the reason why they did it. But, you know, if you... And then another thing is that you see the title bars on here. It just goes, disappears, so it's buggy too. Um, I'm not sure why that is, but sometimes the title bar disappears. Anyways, do I think they should have done that? No, you can actually change the hotkey to the scroll, uh, the wheel. You can use that to do that. This feature, which I believe, um, if you ever use Doc Bar X, the program, the Doc program, then you know what I mean. They actually have that feature, and you can actually minimize too. So whoever is working at Ubuntu that designed that change that shit okay because that, that's annoying uh, what else is there uh, well they do have give me an example here this feature they had like a while ago but I don't really think that's impressive you hold the super key and you have like up to 10 numbers how many numbers is that like let me say 8 and 9 I guess 9 numbers here if you have, I think up to 10, I'm not sure. Anyways, you can actually toggle between, you know, what's, whatever program you have open, which I think this is the only docker that does that, but it's really not that great in my opinion. Um, what else is there? Oh yeah, the dash itself. Let me close these other programs. Close, close, and close. The dash itself, you know, if you if you like the dash before, then you're gonna like it. If you hate the dash before, you're still gonna hate it. It's the same shit, right? They have some of these applications here, which is okay. But um, is there a way to change it to something that you actually use? I don't think so. I I don't really know. You probably have to go some in some configurations and shit, and then you know you can change it from right here. You can't do anything about it. You can't you know add your own application that you want to put it here because checking your fucking email I, I really don't know anyone that uses a desktop client to check their email anymore alright uh, as far as these three icons here it's basically the same shit right media apps internet apps and more apps you go to the same freaking menu it's the same shit look at this and this menu in here is again less efficient than what we had before in uh, was that GNOME 2 which you know you can browse through these like like lightning quick over here you have to click on certain categories and then after that you you probably have to expand it you know more or whatever which is kinda of pointless but that's what they got uh, and down here they have like different uh, you know categories so the first one is the home and this one is the application search and the next one, this one is really bugs me because it's false advertisement, right? This is the one that they're talking about, the find files. 
you click on this stupid thing you're not actually finding any files you it should be called recent documents because that's what the feature does is it searches for your recent documents it doesn't search for your files okay you're not finding files so uh, what I mean by that if you have never opened the file then it, you cannot search for it okay you actually have to open the fucking files at one point in, uh, you know uh, in time it w with your computer to be able to search it in here because it's it's basically you know your recent documents and you can search for I guess the lifetime of your computer and you know if you have a zeitgeist up so very confusing if you're a new user and you, you want to search for files you're not really searching for your files you're searching for recent documents that you have opened so confusing uh, this thing here, the music, I actually do like this one. I think this is the only useful thing in this whole dash, in my opinion. <laughs> Alright? Because you can actually search for, you know, let's say I search for Dido. Oops. That, oh no, I don't want to open it. Let me do that again. Tab, tab. Okay, let's say I search for Dido right there. And, you know, you can actually click on it and it'll open Banshee like it did before. Uh, you can actually look for purchase stuff, and they do have different categories. So that's the I think that's the only useful thing that in the fucking dash that I would probably use. As far as searching, you know, itself, like for applications, kind of like GNOME Do or Kumfer. Again, I talked about this in the past. It's really not that efficient uh, as compared to the alternatives that is already out there. Uh, so that's it for the dash. Uh, let's go to the menus up top here. The menus, you know, if you ever use the global menu, it's the same shit. Uh, I do like the fact that because, you know, their goal was to be less clutter, is that they made it disappear. Although, if you're a new user, it, this was designed for a new user, how the fuck would they know that there's a menu up there if you hide it? Fucking chameleon shit here, look at this. Right? How the hell would you know that if you, you didn't hover over it? So, kind of not obvious if, if you used Ubuntu for the first time. You'd be like, what the fuck is up there? I didn't know that. Um, here's, here's one thing that I also hate. Because when you go to maximize your shit, yeah, your button's up there. Right? And that's how you would close it or minimize it or whatever. Um, it's kind of small and I usually use the dock to minimize but you, you know what you can't really minimize in here it only does this stupid feature so I have to go here minimize the thing and then you know do other stuff and then now you can go back to doing this and now I have to go it's really frustrating to do that uh, it's kind of laggy sometimes too when you try to you know move the fucking windows um, it, it happens sometimes, not all the time, so it's a random thing. I can't always record it, but you see it's kind of laggy. Now let's get to the fucking scrolly thing here. Um, as far as this, they actually improved it from last time. It's more responsive, I would say. But in some situations, and let me show you an example of this. It doesn't fucking work in your favor. So let's open system menus. I mean system monitor here. So this one has the the, the menu uh, scroll. I mean the the scroll bar here, right? Not a big issue. The thing with this one is, is that if you were doing this right, and let's say you accidentally move, you know, your hand to the right side a little bit. Um. You see, you see it disappears. Let me show you that again. See, it disappears like that. And now you can't scroll anymore. What do you have to do? You have to do it again, right? And it just uh, it's really fucking annoying doing that. As opposed to over here, let me move this over here. As opposed to over here, you can click on it. You can move it out here, no problems. You can still do this stupid thing, right? The left side, no problems, no issues. Look at that. Over here, not such a great thing. Look, if you go out here, that's it. You're gone, and you have to click on it again. So very fucking annoying um, let me close it now oh uh, here, here's the thing see sometimes you can't close it either look at it let me click on this stupid thing close it 
I can't close it so sometimes that happens too and I have to go let me go kill it X kill Oop, there we go actually it's gone um, so yes yeah, it's, it's still buggy I mean if you hate unity guess what you're probably gonna hate unity um, you like it you probably don't like it you know there's some people that says oh unity is grown on me but well, fucking ringworms and cancer can grow on you too you know so it's not really that's not a fucking argument the real question you should be asking yourself is that is this more efficient than what you were using in the past and really you know you can lie to me but you can't lie to yourself you know it's not that more efficient you have to do more clicking and you just have to I guess fight unity just to be more productive so it's not really productive at all to do that fighting the system just to get your work done um, let's see what else they have let's see here let's go into the software center I haven't checked this out since I guess the first one because I don't know it's kinda pointless to me I don't really use it but for new users I guess it's okay uh, one thing I do like in here is the comment system or the yeah it's mainly a comment system because some of them like some applications that I hate like G Weber uh, let's go to more info here people just talk trash about it and that's what I like about the comment system you know they tell it how it is because it was complete garbage uh, the new one's a little bit better and I'll talk about that in a minute but I do like the comment system I wish they had like a terminal comment system that I can just you know uh, grep out or something like that and do it from the command line because I really don't want to use the fucking Ubuntu software center uh, let's go back here though yeah you see right here it says what's new but really it just means what's been paid to be on here you know where's what's new that's open source software where's that at the top rated stuff I already know all this shit you know um, you know what I, I like them to have in here and I think like you know almost well never mind like, what I wish they have in here is new applications that's you know in the repositories that's free uh, because you know you use like let's say you use Natty and you see Oneric you want to know what's new that's been in there I'm not talking about like, new versions I'm talking about like new software because they usually have new software in there okay and I really want to know what's new what's been added in there that's actually new uh, so if they actually really have the what's new feature that's open source software or whatever then uh, I'll actually actually you know use this for that other than that this new stuff is just all paid stuff and all these paid stuff are just games I mean where's the real apps on here so that's that for the Ubuntu Software Center uh, it actually looks pretty nice for new users, you know. Other than that, I'm not really gonna use it. Probably gonna uninstall it after this. <laughs> um, what else is there? Oh, you know, speaking of G Weber, I do like their their new one. Let's see G Weber. Let's open this sucker. Before the first version was complete crap. This one is actually a little bit better. Uh, but you know it's just like well this is one thing I like about the G Weber folks they realized that their first product was complete crap and they made a decision to rebuild it from scratch so respect them for that and this is more like a first alpha to me because it's really not complete and it doesn't have a lot of features other than that it does you know do the tweets and the Facebook updates uh, no problems um, just wish they had more features and I wish they lower the RAM usage because to me all this program does is goes out there check for your fucking updates and that's it and how is that uh, worth 70 megs of RAM running in the background uh, just to me it doesn't make sense okay so lower the RAM usage if you can other than that I think it's decent for what it is right now um, what else is there? Uh, as far as comp is, you know, they have the button. They fixed uh, the button binding and everything, so I can use it now. 
Uh, some of the effects, it looks slicker. You can see it's all dark if you have no applications. So let's see if I open uh, this application here. All right, this one is is uh, bright and all the other one is dark. So Compiz is, is, you know, I forgive you guys for the last release. The last release was shit. This one, uh, they're bringing it back, although it's not like super perfect. I seen some of the new stuff that they're they're doing, and I like some of those effects that's coming. So, um, welcome back. Anyways, that's it for this. I guess review, first take, impressions. That's it for this one. If you want to use it, you can use it. As for me, Unity sucks dick. All right.